Okay, this is the third box out of the trio. This is the 18 pound box and it's rattling too. So I'm sure it's gonna look the same. So, all right, kid, let's, let's give it a go. Oh, this one doesn't even have paper. Well, that would explain why this one's got a lot more rattling. Oh, look here, right off the bat. Mm. Okay, all right, we'll be back. We'll let you know how it goes. Okay, well, we'll just stay with this kind of format we have with the first two boxes. So this is going to be the pile of, you know, broken, missing, stretched out. This was a beautiful bracelet, but it stretched out. We have part of what looks like a belt, but it's got like this cool inlay. You know, we've got some really cute stretched out uh, charm bracelets. I mean, you know, it's just kind of the plethora of miscellaneous stuff in here. So this is uh, the craft, the broken, you know, that kind of stuff. So these look like from the Lego movies and there's actually uh, an actual little following for these. These sometimes are used as birthday party gifts and that kind of thing. So we have eight of them and they look in great shape. So I'll probably try to sell them locally for like, you know, five bucks or whatever. So we have those. Okay, the other thing we found digging through this box were these gross bags. I mean, this is, mm, squeeze me, these are disgusting. However, I think some of these might have actually been at Goodwill merchandise because some of them have holes, but they all are filthy. So, um, and I don't know why they're in bags. They don't look like, um, you know, some look homemade. I don't know, so let's just go ahead and we'll open them and we'll see what the the deal is with the. Oh, you know what? These are the some of these bags are. I mean, probably do a better job than the lock on our front door. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Okay. Well, magnetic. So um, beads. Just I don't know. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know why these are. Oh, these are cute why these are bagged other than the fact that I think maybe some of these were um, you know uh, hanging you know in the store these aren't bad I mean these have kind of a cool looking crystal all right well that's a pair of earrings okay well this looks like a necklace the hang tag Lane Bryant. All right, well, we're gonna do this old school. I'm not even gonna get a form out or anything for this backdrop. Okay, so, all right. But you know what? Uh, we don't have many necklaces. This box is absolutely loaded with bracelets, which, you know, is interesting. So we don't see that too often. Okay, so magnetic. Okay, just, a you know, hoops. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I'm curious at this point what the look at this size bag for this little pair of earrings um you know what they're selling their stuff for um these look okay look like plastic like homemade guys uh a little magnetic okay well here's that pair of earrings you know you're always hoping when you see something like that oh maybe it's silver you know, they're in a bag for a reason, for crying out loud. Uh, okay, well, these don't feel magnetic. But they have this weird, like, you know what I think they did? I think they did silver testing. I think they were testing for metal. And that's why it's stained. Ugh. Well, alrighty then. Okay, moving on. All right, let's see. Uh, these kind of almost, we have a Monet pair that look very similar to these. Okay, well, they don't, I mean, I don't hate them. Let's see what else we've got here. Yeah, probably, scissors probably would have been a good choice here. Oh, these look kind of similar to the first one without the little drop. Um... They're not overly heavy. 
all kind of plasticky. Okay, there's that. These look homemade. And all these heart findings here. So these, these look like homemade. Okay, there's that. Ugh, these bags are disgusting, you guys. Ugh. Okay, oh, there's two in here. All right, let's see. Oh, these all feel like glass. So these are a little nicer. Okay, these ones have like the black rhodium hoops and... Hmm. Where, hang on, where's my loop? Well, guess what? This looks like, okay, are you ready for this, Stacy? These look like tourmalated quartz. Mm -hmm. uh, they do, they look like they have the black tourmaline needles and they're a little cloudy. So, okay, there's, there's that one, that's not bad. These look like glass that has been frosted on the side so you could see in the middle. All right, those aren't bad. Okay, I could see those in a bag. Okay, this I'm. Um, these are shell and probably oh boy are these bent, probably a little piece of quartz. All right, there's I mean this is these are both bent. Well, you know, if they put stuff in the box really loose and it gets a chance, to, oh squeeze this is so gross. I'm gonna have to get the hand sanitizer out really early in this box. Um, these are just kind of. Those are kind of plastic. All right, well, I'm not sure why those were in the bag. Um, but sometimes when, like if they pack stuff loose, that's not, you know, always a, you know, a, oh, well, these are definitely magnetic. Okay, um, really detrimental to the jewelry, but if there is a lot of empty space, uh, you know, you end up with bent things and broken things and a lot of stuff in the bottom. All right, well, these were the, earrings oh wait there's one more you know what i'm not even going to open it these are just gross these are homemade okay we're just going to move on from these let's get rid of these bags ew yucky i think that's going to be the theme for today is yucky oh you know what darn it my parents which was hilarious bought us white gloves so we can do a white glove unboxing. This probably would have been a good one to do that with, but eh, I kind of already started, so. All right, uh, stretch bracelet. You know what, hang on, let me get my, here, is that a little better? I think so. Okay, let me look behind the camera here. Hang on, let me look. Oh, that's okay, okay. So this has the black rhodium look with the uh, amethyst, you know, faux amethyst look. So stretch, that's okay. That's not bad. Uh, okay, these are rubber mm, and glass. Okay, that's a different composition, isn't it? All right, well, there's that. We have some glass. I think these two are amethyst. You know what, hang on, let me see. Let me see about maybe, you know what, I think I'm gonna zoom up just a little bit more. Hold on. I think that's better. Okay, so we have some glass, and I think these two are amethyst, and some form of, these are cold, so probably um, glass or a black stone. Okay, then we have this, okay, I don't know what this is supposed to look like. These almost look like Easter eggs. Okay, so, but we have, you know, remember, I don't know if you're old enough, but remember back in the day, when your mom used to make jello, like jello was huge in like the 70s. And they had that recipe where they mixed it a couple of different ways. So the jello would settle and it would be the clear color and the frothy color and then the white color. Doesn't this remind you of that? This so reminds me of that. And I don't know why I want to say dinosaur eggs. Weird, right? But they're glass. I don't know. Kind of interesting. Okay, this. Look at all the different really nice beads in this. I mean, we've got some dichroic glass. We have some clear glass. We have some, I mean, really, some, like, look at this one. Uh, fashion glass and this one. Cool. I, that's all right. Uh, this one. 
has some charms and this is almost like a cloisonne bead doesn't really feel like it I think then I I think you would just call it an enamel bead and it has a ceramic bead with a fish look at this one look how cute that is all right that's not bad heavy 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 look at all the strands of uh, you know pretty standard glass beads so that has some nice presence to it these are smaller oh these have texture these are like they've got like bumps and stuff or the different colors of glass like this one here you know has been put on it so it's almost like a porcupine kind of thing going on these look like a lot like the pandora uh, pandora charms uh, we've got the frosted glass the faux pearl this really lightweight feeling silver tone all right that's not bad okay this one has some very nice looking like crystal beads a little these are nice and cold and pretty heavy these uh, silver tone then we have a couple of the AB mirrored finish beads and uh, hey all the stones are here on the sideways cross okay that's a pretty substantial bracelet okay multi strand Let's see I'm not sure how okay I'm not sure where all the strands go but we're just gonna go like this oh hang on See, this is what happens when Lauren isn't here with me, you know, and I have to go rogue. Oh, it's kind of scary. Uh, okay, so lots of strands. We have very nice glass beads, some really cute little seed beads, nice color, green, blue, amber, a lot going on with that. I think kind of springtime. And if you, if you hear anything outside, we're having a storm. Um, our front tree is going, ah, and I'm going, ah. So let's hope nothing happens to that. But if you hear a large, you know, really large, you know, large bang, well, just say goodbye to my car. I'm sure it's been, you know, trampled by the tree. But anyway, okay. Uh, faux pearl looks like really interesting. I mean, it's a double strand and it has the enameling on the leaves. Kind of interesting. I think this would be worth more than the part of the strands, but I like it. Okay, stone. Probably how light and okay, these feel um hmm, maybe like the we've only had it a couple times, like the vos the volcanic beads. Huh, like the lava beads. Well that's interesting. Oh. Alright. Uh, fans of boho, Miss Marianne. Um, multi strand has some wood beads, some seed beads. It has some gemstones, some stone chips. A ah, little uh, mixed bag on this one. A little bit of everything. Uh, another shell on brass. That's not bad. Uh, this looks like kid. You know, just re oh, we have another one and more. Oh my, okay, here's another one. Okay, we have quite a few little seed bead kitty type bracelets. That one, and here's another group with the ribbon, a random one. All right, well, we have some. Oh, here's this. So we have some kid beads going on. Let's put those over there. Uh, this puka shell. Yeah, yeah, probably kid one. This has a little charm. Oh, okay, that may be glass. A uh, little memory. How cute is that? Okay, that one's not bad. Here we have faux, probably faux leather. And this cute bow. Mm, that's not bad. Uh, has a little bit of fraying going up. Eh, probably in the craft. Uh, we have this one in one of the last boxes that was black. Now we have this bangle in blue. Okay, these look like pretty standardy 
um, you know, nicer regular bangles as opposed to the really, you know, really inexpensive ones. Okay, there's that. Ooh, okay, now this, this is nice. Nice, heavy acrylic. Looks like it has the foil in the middle. You know, this isn't certainly like, you know, you know, older Bakelite or a Lucite or anything like that, but, you know, hey, it's for an acrylic, I mean, nice stretch still. I like that. I, I'd probably keep that for myself. Uh, plastic, but look at the faceting. Hmm. Okay, well, let's face it. We know where that's going to end up. We're just not even going to pretend it's not going to end up in my box. Is I have to, I probably should preference out by saying there's way too much in my keep pile. Okay, this is kind of inexpensive. So is this one. Uh, so is that one. These are all really plasticky. This has, oh, wait a minute. You know, in the, um, hmm. In the, the last box, we had that necklace that had these beads on it as well, these rose beads. This probably goes with that. So let's put that over there. We'll see if we can't find a, a match for that. And then we have, they've tie wrapped them together, plastic, kind of that little bit swirly look. They look newer. They don't look they don't look old at all. So we'll just put those over there. Ooh, I like this one. Nice, heavy metal. Oh, look at the different colored gemstones we've got going on. We've got pink and purple. Ugh. Okay, I really, I'm digging that one. I like that one. And it kind of goes with the theme of this one, older. You know, these are older. They've got quality. Look at the the rhinestones pop in here. Look at this. Hmm. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just put them over here. Let's let's just not even pretend, shall we? Let's just. Oh, okay. Kind of the faux tortoise shell. Okay, loving that. Oh crap. Oh, I said that on film. I'm so sorry. Probably have to edit that out. Okay, there's another one. You know the rule has been and. My husband has been really, really understanding about my uh, collecting, as uh, one of my friends and I are now affectionately calling it. And uh, the rule was that if a box came, you know, we had to process all of this before we could open it. Hmm. Well, you know, the rule kind of was like, if I'm going to keep a whole bunch, maybe I should let some go. Yeah, that hasn't been happening. I'm just keeping. Okay, look at the Santa. Uh, you know, these are, this is kind of like an older style. It's certainly not like, you know, 60s, but it's definitely an older style enameling. So, okay, you know, all right, let's just, we're just not even going to let him see this. We just won't even think, you know, let him know that we filmed today. How about that? Okay, memory uh, bracelet again with uh, the black chips. I mean, who knows what stone this is going to be. I need, seriously, I need me a gem tester. I'm going to have to do that. Oh, these are those little seeds. Um, you know, they're out of those windmill looking pod things. And then the blue uh, beads that have almost that tiger's eye effect. Uh, did I tell you we had a ton of bracelets or what? Okay, stretch. These are plastic, but nicer plastic. Okay, instead of the blue ones that have that uh, tiger's eye effect, now we have pink. Okay, stretch. Yeah, there's a little bit of weight to these, but I just think they're plastic. Now this one has a little bit, a uh, little more weight to it. These are nice, ornate, uh, aged beads. They have the two tassels with the little jingle bells on the end. Okay, I'm kind of digging that one. Okay, inexpensive faux pearls. Uh, just kind of a standard shell. 
Okay, this is not marked, but it is mixed metal. Uh, I this isn't the same kind of quality like a Stanley Love, but uh, Love would be. But you know, somebody like that. We have wooden beads, uh, inexpensive plastic beads, more inexpensive plastic beads. Uh, now we're back to natural stone. Probably, maybe carnelian, maybe. A nice, cool to the touch. Yeah, I'll put those with mine. A memory bracelet with some smaller. Okay, this kind of feels like some are glass and some are not. So, eh, probably over there. Shell and a couple of crystal beads. These are dyed. That's kind of pretty, you know, spring. Oh, Easter. Thinking that'd be cool for Easter. Okay, here's, I know I'm tossing things like crazy, right? This is a nice enamel bracelet. Not, okay, quick look. I'm just gonna look really quick, uh, but I don't see a mark. So look at the enameling. Hmm, okay, well, okay, this is just getting bad now. Uh, looks like dyed hell light. Oh, stretched. This one is kind of... Oh, no. It, okay, well, there we go. That's better. Hmm. I'm not sure what these are. These don't quite look like carnelian. Nice and cool to the touch, though. I don't know. We'll have to look at that one. Okay, fashion. Not, oh, that's got a lot of stretch. I mean, ooh, that's tight. Okay. On uh, enameling, silver tone. Yeah. Hmm. All right, that one's okay. We have. Oh, plastic. So, so plastic. But kind of cool looking. I mean, these are really mm, odd shaped. All right, there's that. Now, did I tell you? Look at all these bracelets. Okay, memory. We've got a lot going on here. Uh, glass seed really tiny little uh, seed pearls it looks like seed beads that feels like wood all right that's hey if you're bohoing that's that's not bad my goodness okay another red hat but this one isn't as nice as the first one we had this uh, triple strand boy this is kind of a mess all right well you get the idea they're hooked together these are highly faceted, checkerboard faceting on the, you know, they don't, you know what, I don't know if the gem feels cold or just the amount of metal. Well, okay, well, there's that one. Okay, this looks very uh, boho with the peace sign and some... The yin yang sign. Somebody wanted $6.99 for it. So that's okay, that's kind of interesting, right? Okay. This one has some wear. Okay, this one doesn't. Okay, things are all over the place on this one. Okay, it has some red enamel hearts, it has just some standard hearts. It has stuff all over the place here. Some negative space hearts. Okay, that one means more kid, kid quality, but the charms aren't bad. Same thing with this. This is not very heavy at all. Same thing with that. Not very heavy. Snowflakes, stretch, uh, mostly plastic. Still cute. Okay, there's that. My goodness. Okay, when are we going to be done with bracelets? All right, this kind of a like an it is glass. Looks like somebody made that bead. And these are just kind of standard beads. Well, that's kind of interesting. All right. So is this mixed metal again. Okay, well right off I don't see a mark, but Looks like probably brass and copper. No, 
it's got some magnetic going on so okay uh, another memory these look like just you know typical basic uh, little glass beads plastic some shell some wood and those are the fabric beads okay so that's you know that's not bad all right let's talk about some necklaces we don't have too many um this looks very similar to the one we had in the very beginning so i'm not sure why one was in a bag and well maybe, maybe this one's a little different I, you know it's silver tone it's you know nothing special okay this is really freaking heavy oh uh, let's see my I would have thought maybe these were stone, but they have like white, maybe dyed stone. I mean, this, I don't think it's anything like a lapis. And then these are really heavy. I think this would probably be good for taking apart. This may be craft. We will see. Okay, longer seed bead. You know, these are kind of one of those crafty. Uh, type necklaces. Okay, fashion. Silver tone chain. But this, the pendant though, is a real stone. Maybe um, aventurine, maybe. I'm, I'm going to guess that. Okay. Big puffy heart. That black rhodium look and the chain. That's nice. Longer shell, silver tone. These kind of like, kind of like CD record, you know, records. Um, kind of that swirly, you know, kind of that 60s kind of vibe going on there. Okay, there's that. Nice and long. We wouldn't be complete without puka shells, but in blue, and it's different, right? I mean, it's, you know, a little something, something. Moon glow, little pendant, what are those? Little dolphins, um, standard cord, that's cute. Ooh, super long. Okay, we have, um, all right, let's see if we can just kind of swirl it around here super long it has almost this boy I hope that's the look and you know not rusted uh, <laughs> it has cute rhinestones woven into these bigger links and then we have this kind of god it's not really coppery but kind of bronze you know look to it so in the different chain styles kind of cool uh, I'll take a look. I don't. I don't see a hang tag at all. But that's kind of you know, that's kind of different, right? Okay, this has a tape on it. Okay, I'm assuming somebody tried selling this. This is lightweight. These are plastic. So I don't know. Maybe somebody was selling it at a garage sale or something. But it's okay. I mean, nothing special. Okay, statement piece. Claire's. Okay. Um, dark blue. Looks like everything is there. You know, kind of standardy. I mean, not not overly uh, heavy. Blue and green. We've got some wear on these beads. This would probably go in you know, our kid jewelry, you know, for them to do something with. Ooh, I like these. Uh-oh. Dang it. You know what? We probably should have have um, a counter. Could almost be a good drinking game. How many is she keeping today? Uh, I suggest an evening game. Yeah, maybe not so much uh, during the day. This has a little tiny, like, little brass heart dangle here at the end but it doesn't have anything on it these are great different plastic pieces we have very very cool uh, cognac color here 
and these have a lot of faceting. Ah, uh, hmm. Well, all right, we're not gonna talk about it. La la la. Okay, these look, these look older. Look at this clasp. It doesn't have anything written on it. Okay, this is awesome. Dang it. Okay, here's another thing that's maybe wink wink. Um, mm hmm. Gonna be in a certain person's keep pile. Okay, um, this is awesome. I love this enameled clasp. And these are lightweight plastic. Okay, alrighty. La la la. Um, okay, silver tone, heavy beads, a nice thick chain too. All right, cool. Liking that one, a uh, multi-strand. Um, okay, well this is kind of a mess. All right, you know what, we're just gonna, oh there, hang on. Oh, it's different, okay. All right, so we have multi-strand with different light, you know, different lengths and this has like how light tiny seed beads chain uh, kind of a mixed bag going on here all right so there's that longer okay so it starts with more towards the top with the beads with you know the faux pearl and the hammered chain look followed by like a black rhodium kind of like a sparkle chain actually that's cool all right there's that one another drinking game how many times can i say that's cool today what is up with that see this is what happens when i'm just yakking to myself oi okay if I could go live, I could be yakking to everybody else. And you guys could say, look, you've only said cute about 54 times today. Mm. All right. Uh, nice. I'm digging these beads. Look at these black. Look at, well, okay, well, you know, we've got the hematite. But look at these blue beads, these cylinder beads. Nice and cold. Okay, I am really liking this. Oh, good grief. All right. Oh, how sweet is this? Okay, we've got a, a really cute little fashion. These look like daisies, sort of, don't they? With also that moon glow in the blue centers. And yellow, you do not see that much yellow. Oh, okay, my grandmother would probably like that, too. She is huge into yellow. Um. Okay, these are this brown dyed maybe dyed maybe oh, you know I don't know I'd have to look this up that's just brown what kind of stone is just brown or maybe it's dyed I don't know well there's a whole nice big strand of this and well no this isn't a strand this is a necklace okay so do we think this is coral Look at the the findings here. These look like leaves, kind of a squirrely ivy thing going on. It's triple strand. I don't know. I'm thinking coral. Hmm. I mean, there there's a little bit of, you know, like here's like a little, like a hole and a little bit of white. Here's a little black. Huh. Okay, I'm really liking... Oh, I know. Here we go again. I'm really liking that. Okay, I don't know that I'm liking this part of the chain, but I am loving these... Look at these chunky acrylic beads. Okay, well, you know me and plastic at this point. Oh, my. Oh, we're not going to talk about this one either. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what happened to that one. It just... I'm sure it got sold, dear. Uh-huh. That's the story we're sticking to, right? Okay. You're all my friends. You can you'll you'll go along with that story, right? Yeah, yeah. Somebody take the bullet and, and say that, you know, they bought it. Yeah. Okay. All right, big statement. Um I do not see okay, no hang tag. 
lots of lots of faceting so it's a little a little nicer than just the standard but I think it's got some scratching and whatnot so we'd have to take a look and see what we can do with this but all right overall not bad not bad glass beads we have this in one of the other boxes in blue and white and then black and white I think I think in fact out of this group of three I think we have the blue and white but I do have it or black and white rather but I do have it in blue and white too these are great little pieces of glass they've got beautiful they have beautiful iridescence to them and a nice silky uh, feel we need feel a vision. Ooh, that could get lots of people in trouble, I think. Anyway, um, I, I like these two. All right. Plastic. Um, but a great look to these beads. They kind of have a tie-dye look to them. All right, kind of digging that. And you know what? I think that would actually go well with these. These are plastic also with very lightweight. I think these two together would be really really nice all right so we have that what on earth oh and it's all tangled okay um you know what we you get the gist here we go let's see we can't oh my okay this is a tangled mess but the we have now this is plastic I think this is supposed to look like, you know, dyed turquoise, but oh, it is so not. Um, we have a lot of the dangles going on and this whole thing on this end, oh, that's a big tangled mess, but okay, if you like big statement pieces, I think this is probably one of the biggest ones we've had. Okay, well that's, you know, all right, that's different. All right, let's see what else we have super long bead and shell with the multicolors. Very nice. Uh, it also has a nice smooth look to it. Very boho. I mean, this is very, very boho. Okay, we have that one. Okay, are these together? What's going on here? Okay, shell. Oh, I love these beads. Okay, most of it is shell, but look at, oh, I love these. We have these in a few different pieces. They are glass insert, but they have the metallic on the side. So this one has amber, blue, green, clear. Oh, I love this one. Let's see if we can't I'm just kind of snake it around too. Okay, we're coming down to the home stretch. I know my camera just shut off with the really pretty shell one that I really love those beads. Uh, this one still has the tag on it, and this says Tribal Spirit uh, wooden beads, uh, lighter. So, you know, definitely for a summertime, that would be, you know, not real evasive, not heavy. I think that would be a nice, a nice summer piece. This is marked uh, Monet. Very nice. All right, nice longer strand of the plastic, very high gloss beads. Okay, loving that. Ooh, loving this. Look at this. Oh, oh dang it, I can't read that, hold on. You know, when everything just kind of goes wrong, so what happens when I'm by myself now? This is Monet? All right. I haven't seen anything like this by Monet. Nice. Something we haven't seen. All right. I'm digging that. Okay. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Oh, okay. I'm digging this orange, let me tell you. Um... um this J. Crew, who is this? J. Crew. Okay, we are seeing more and more orange. I mean, even out of the Goodwill, you know, realm of life here, orange seems to be pretty darn popular. Okay, I like this. It has a nice weight to it. Do you hear the wind whipping around our slider? That isn't good. This is J. Crew also. 
Look how cute this is. And a bracelet. <laughs> okay, this box was loaded with bracelets. Not too much of anything else, but tons of bracelets. Okay, this is kind of, uh, We have another tangled, mangled mess here, too. I don't know. Am I going to find an end? Yes, I can. Hold on. I think that's Arrow. Oh, Aldo. A-L-D-O. Duh. Okay, you know, we're just going to snake it around. This has some serious tangled issues going on. But look at all the reflective action going on here. Hmm, okay, liking that one too. Oh, that'd be nice when I come on video and I talk. I always wear the same one. It's my favorite, you know, it's my definitely one of my favorite necklaces. I know that tang hang tag anywhere. This is Sarah Coventry. Dainty, dainty, dainty little piece. Look how cute this is. Cute, cute, cute. Let's turn that around, goodness. Cute. Oh, I love that. Um, I'm telling you right now, this is Monet. Yes, it is. Monet bangle. Shocker. Okay, look at this. This has a Monet feel. Okay, but this isn't marked. All right. Look at this bracelet. Look at the V. If I would stop moving it, you can see it, Ange. What are we doing here today? Uh, rhinestones, the high gloss. Okay, I'm really liking this, although it doesn't have a mark. Look, I bet this one is the same way. Look at how well made this thing is. Boy, is this heavy. Again, not marked. Okay, but beautiful. Look at this piece. Loving it. All right, I think. Do I have anything else to show you? Oh, I have these. These were in there. Okay, well, somebody wanted 20 bucks. Hmm. All right, well, we will test these for silver. All right, it's that. There's that. What is this? Oh, look at this bird. Oh, okay, you know what? I bet this is out of the Hunger Games. Oh, here, here's a tag. Hold on. The Hunger Games. Duh, right, Ange. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what? We have found quite a bit from movie stuff. Uh, we have uh, several pieces from the Twilight series. And this will be like our third piece out of Hunger Games. So, all right, there's that. Okay, these look very boho. I think. Hang on. I don't think. Here's another baggie. Here we go again. I can't ever get these things open. What? Are, what are these? I don't think these are amethyst. I don't think these are purple at all. You know, and the lighting I have going on in here. Hmm. All right. Ooh, okay. These are not even close to being silver, but whatever it is, it's a cute little set. Okay. That's that's it, guys. All right. Well, we're going to end on these little pieces here. All right. That was the end of the trio from Southern California. This was the 18-pound box. We have some new stuff coming. With any luck, something uh, should be delivered today. I'm hoping, but with the weather being really bad, we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. I mean, just basically spending time with us. We appreciate it. We've had so many wonderful messages, and we certainly appreciate it. I, I'm just so humbled that, you know, you spend time with us, and we appreciate it. We really do. Uh, we did have a message about the sale. People would like me to extend it to Friday. I know a lot of you are uh, new to us and you haven't had a chance to see it. So we're going to go ahead and leave the sales video up, uh, all, all four of them, up until Friday. Uh, so if you do want to place an order or if there's anything 
on here or any of our videos please more recent videos would be good don't ask me to find something from four months ago i don't know where it is so <laughs> but it, you know especially in the newer videos if you see something you like just message me um you know we'll come up with a plan no problem no worries thank you again stay tuned we have a new box coming soon take care we'll see you soon